I'm sitting on my porch with a heavy heart because I just picked my daughter up from school and the first thing she says is, Mom, did you hear about what happened at Wendell Middle School? And I'm like, no. And she says, all of the kids got let out early because a student hung himself in the bathroom. Now we're talking about middle school, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. I'm not sure what grade the child was in, but it's just concerning that there's so many thoughts running through my mind right now. The first thing I want to say is I cannot, I don't tolerate bullying. If for one moment I feel like something came off as bullying, I'm handling it completely. Whether I got to deal with my child, it coming from my child or somebody else's, I don't tolerate it, period. It sends me from zero to 100 real quick. Parents, if you know your child is a bully, do something about it. Because nobody else's child should you lose their life because of your kid bullying them. Do something about it. Schools, be more vigilant, be more watchful. I feel like schools are not vigilant, as vigilant as they should be. I feel like their zero tolerance bull bullying policy needs to be improved. And the thing that breaks my heart the most is that it's Suicide Awareness Month. So parents, I wanna say if your child, pay attention to the signs. I pulled this list and the one to follow from a website called stopbullying.gov. If you're interested in learning more information about how you can put an end to or help prevent bullying, please visit that website. The next set of lists are the signs of suicide, which I retrieved from the Suicide Prevention and Resource Center. For more information, visit that website at sprc.org. When they come home, if they're isolated, if they're quiet, if their behavior changes, like pay attention, ask them questions. And if they tell you something, do something about it. Do something about it. I remember when my son was in middle school and he'd get in the car, in the carpool, and I'd immediately know something was wrong because number one, he's a very, when he gets in the car with me, he loves to talk about his day. Both of my children greet me. When he got in the car silent, my first question was, what's wrong? And he said nothing, of course. And I refused to move my car from the carpool line until he told me. And when he told me what happened, I think at the time, he, new, word had got back to him that some boys were going to try to jump him in the bathroom. Okay. I'm, I put my car in park. I took my car to a parking spot and I marched in that school. And I demanded, I demanded for them to get to the bottom of what my son had just told me because actually my exact words was if my son comes to school tomorrow and he comes home and somebody done put their hands on him and I done brought it to your attention you're gonna have a problem mama bear gonna show up and it's gonna show me that you don't know how to handle bullying you don't stand behind your zero tolerance policy and that means I need to take matters into my own hands and I'll quickly take matters in my own hands. I'll quickly threaten to call the news and put your school on the spot. Since you don't know how to handle the bullying, let the community help. So pay attention to the signs. Like if your child needs a mental health day, give them that mental health day. Go to war for them because suicide is at an all time high. And in addition to that, the enemy is after our youth. He doesn't want to see them live. And my heart is just broken because, number one, like my daughter used to go to that school. I don't know the background information, but the, my first thought was bullying. And it sucks because that's how much, that's how out of hand bullying in the school systems has gotten. That my first thought was it, the child was trying to escape from bullying. But teachers can be bullies. The administration at schools can be bullies. So no matter who your child comes home and reports to you this, if they just show you like they're afraid to go to school or they feel like the teacher's always picking on them or whatever the case may be, get down to the bottom of it. I'm just at a loss for words. Like my heart is so heavy and I'm just, I just want to encourage you. I just want to challenge you. Let's come together and just keep our youth uplift, uplifted in prayer because the things that they have to deal with in school now versus what we had to deal with in school is a whole nother level. The enemy is after their lives. He's out here prowling around like a roaring lion. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. 
and he wants to take our youth out just keep your children uplifted in prayer keep your keep your nieces and nephews the children in your neighborhood the children at the school that your your child goes to like keep them lifted in prayer because they need it parents get in your children's business like because i stayed in my children's i won't even call it staying in their business but i paid attention to their behaviors i was students of my children and that's why i can tell when something was off and that is how i knew immediately that things were going on with my son if he would have just gotten the car i didn't pay, pay attention to his the change in his mood the change in his desire to to communicate i would have never realized that something was going on and he may have never told me because he didn't want to feel like a snitch or he didn't want to feel like a scary cat or whatever the kids label like my heart is broken i'm angry um i want to do something about it hug your children today make sure they know that they're loved make sure that they're mentally healthy and stable make sure they know that they have a reason to live Let's love on our children. Let's pray for this little boy's family. He went to school one day and didn't come back. I wish I could have hugged that little boy. I wish I could have told him, just hold on a little while longer. God cares for you and he cares about what you're going through. If you are being bullied and you see this video, know that you are loved. Know that people care about you. Your life is valuable you would be missed and please hold on a little while longer please because this is just a a small moment of your life and it shall pass and as hard as it may seem we also have to pray for the bullies because typically a person bullies someone else because of something that they're insecure about with themselves or they are projecting the things that they're going through on to somebody else they may be unloved they may be abused and now they have to deal with the fact that a child took their own life as a result of their bullying and live with that if you're a teacher or an administrator and a child comes to you confiding in you that somebody's bullying them or somebody said something hurtful to them or you you can see the fear typically you can see it you can feel it don't turn a blind eye to it don't just tell them to go sit down or go on to class like do something do something about it make them feel comfortable get down to the bottom of it ask them to point out the bully walk them to their next class if they need to get the principal involved bullies need to be held accountable period and parents if your child has been bullied or is being bullied seek them some therapy because it can take a toll on their mind their mental health and their well-being and if it's not handled now it could lead to childhood trauma that could carry on into their adult lives um, and we definitely don't want our children to live a childhood that they have to heal from as adults so get them the help that they need now as it relates to bullying. If your child is a bully, seek therapy for them. Get them the help that they need now so that they don't carry on hurting people mentally. That can lead to physical hurt. Like get them the help that they need. Let's normalize therapy. Let's normalize mental health. It doesn't mean that you're crazy. It just means that our mental health is important and it needs to be catered to just like our physical health because sometimes it's easier for our children to talk to someone else and that someone else can tell our children something that we have been telling them over and over and it hits different when they hear it from someone else. Additionally, therapists are trained to use different techniques that can rebuild the neural pathways in our children's brains and cause them to look at themselves in a different light. They use different techniques to, to heal the mind. 
And sometimes it can be as simple as talking it out with somebody, being heard, being seen. And that's not to say that parents, we don't hear and see our children, but sometimes they need to be heard and seen from a different perspective. And it takes swallowing our pride to, to realize that. Because sometimes we can think, my child has me. I'm all that they need. And sometimes we got to step aside of ourselves and put our pride aside and seek the additional help that our child needs to process what they're feeling, to process their emotions, to learn coping mechanisms that you may not know to teach them, to learn skills that you may not have in your tool belt to help them get past this mental block. Let's continue to talk to our children and educate them on the effects of bullying and how it can be tragic. Let's teach them if they see something to say something. Don't just turn a blind eye. Tell a teacher what you saw. Tell an administrator what you saw. It could mean the difference between life or death for the person being bullied. Let's teach our children to always be kind, to smile at that person who looks down or who might be sitting by themselves in the cafeteria. Smile at them. Go sit with them. Ask them their name. Let's teach them to spread kindness around like confetti. Let's teach them to just love people. Just love people. Just be kind. Ultimately, treat people the way you want to be treated. Nobody wants to be bullied. Nobody wants to be made fun of. Nobody wants to be made to feel like an outcast. So if, let's teach our children, if you don't want to feel that way, then never make anyone else feel that way. It's not okay. A smile goes a long way. Asking somebody their name goes a long way. Saying hello goes a long way. It makes them feel noticed, seen, and not ignored. It makes them feel like they exist and their presence on earth matters. So I'm going to attach a prayer, a couple of different prayers that we can be praying over our youth. And that we can be praying over the family of this little boy. These prayers were pulled from a book entitled Prayers That Avail Much by Jermaine Copeland Word Ministries Incorporated. This first one is to pray over children while at school to protect them against bullying and whatever else they may experience. The second is for protection against all things that you can pray over anyone. And this last one is the one that you can pray over the family of the student who recently lost his life and anyone else experiencing grief or loss.